Welcome back to the Journey Podcast. Today's topic is going to be the process to the promised land. We live in a world today where social media has conditioned us to seek out instant gratification. But really, in reality, that would never be the case. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's pure strength and curves with and really sticking through your process you know what i'm saying a lot of times we'll get either discouraged or you know what i'm saying just because you are perceived to look at somebody process and you be like oh they start from right here and then boom all of a sudden overnight you know what i'm saying they over here you know what I'm saying? Because you perceive that you only see what they put in that, but you don't see them sleepless nights. You know what I'm saying? You don't see them. They back kind of going to zero, then they had to go dig out the mud to get right back up. Like, you don't see them going through that multiple times. You don't see the world for that they fight in their mind. You know what I'm saying? You don't see the world for that they fight in the physical, around others, hating, hatred, envy. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy. You don't see how that. All we see on the outside through social media is the good. You don't see the darks, the darkness that they don't have to go through. So they can be able to produce that light that you've seen. You know what I'm saying? You don't see it. That's why you gotta really weather the process. You gotta go through the process to be able to get to your promise, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the process is there to build you. You know what I'm saying? The process is there to mold you. You know what I'm saying? Just like with anything, if you started something, you're gonna fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna fall down a couple times until you begin to learn and be like, oh, okay, I know not to do that next time. Let me let me move to the side and keep going. You know what I'm saying? It's the process. A lot of times the process is going, it's going, it's gonna break it down. But a lot of times in the process, that's how you find out how strong you is, you know what I'm saying? How strong you really are, how powerful you really are, you know what I'm saying? That's why God allows you to go through it, because He wants you to see you, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever, have you ever come across people and they actually, they tell you every good thing about you, but you be sitting there like, bro, what you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I don't see none of that, you know what I'm saying? And that's the point, because it keeps you humble. But God will take you through this process to reveal to you how powerful you is, how strong you is, how blessed you is, you know what I'm saying? Because everything that, that this life and the devil sent to knock you out and sent to make you give up, you still chose to keep going. You still chose to follow God through it all. You still chose to look at the things above as a guiding star. To guide you to your promise, you know what I'm saying? Let's take it to the word. In Genesis 12, God called Abraham and made a promise to him, telling him how blessed he's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? How he's gonna be ruler of the nations. You know what I'm saying? But God didn't tell him when. You know what I'm saying? Just like when we go back to our real life, God would tell us something, and we would get all excited. You know what I'm saying? But when we start to walk out of that process to what he told us, we be like, God, dang, God, where is it? Like, I ain't gonna care, but I've been going around this mountain for a long time. Like, I've been running around this wall for a long time. It still ain't, it still ain't broke. Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? It's the process. It's the process, you know what I'm saying? So let me, let me, let me go back to the word. Let me go back to the word. So Abraham, Abraham, let me get to you, Abraham process, bro. Abraham had to give up his right Sarah to Pharaoh. In the midst of him giving up something, God blessed Abraham with everything he needed to really possess the land, to till the land. Like, let me go back to it. Abraham received where is it, man? Abraham received sheep, oxen, asses, everything you need for a land because Pharaoh took his wife. And, and you know, 
You ain't supposed to play with nobody's wife. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, this is good. This is really good. They even had to give up his wife. But in the midst of him giving up his wife, he received cattle. He received a, 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 a sheep. Like in back in the day, that's, that's wealth right there. That's wealth. Farming, everything you need for farming and land, bro, that's, that's wealth back in the day. But he received that. Abraham had wealth out of the gate. You know what I'm saying? But doing that, he had to give up something temporarily. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we we'll have to give up something temporarily. But it's a test of our faith. You know what I'm saying? Just like when Abraham had to give up his son as a test of his faith. And then he still got blessed. See, during Abraham's process, he was tested through it all. From his from Sarah, from his son, from him and Lot separating because they both had wealth and the land. And the land they was it was too big for the both of them. So he was like, man, look, you go over here, I'm go over here. And we're gonna keep it at that. You know what I'm saying? Abraham did it all from him gathering up his troops, going down there in Sodom, and getting Lot and all his stuff back from whoever, I forgot who. <clears throat> I'm in the book right here, but. But Lot, Abraham did a whole lot of things. Doing the process, getting to his promise, man. You know what I'm saying? But one thing Abraham didn't do, man, he didn't give up, man, he didn't, he didn't stop. He always kept his faith in God. No matter what God told Abraham to do, he did it. You know what I'm saying? He kept his faith. And God restored everything back to him each and every time. You know what I'm saying? Just like, let's go to Job. Job in the Bible. Joe had everything. And the devil tried, tried Joe. He was like, he tried God too. Like, man, you you taking Joe. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even touching it. So when the devil touched Joe, man, everything went to, went to shit. But what did Joe do? He stayed steadfast. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the storm, in that process. He, he stayed steadfast. He stayed faithful. And after that storm passed, after that trial tribulation passed, after that process was done, God restored it all back to him, double. You know what I'm saying? Double for his trouble. You know what I'm saying? It's the process. Each and every person in this Bible went through a process. You know what I'm saying? And, and that, if you actually sit, take the time out and read, you will see all the characteristics that jump out at you. You know what I'm saying about them. You know what I'm saying? They was faithful. They was steadfast. You know what I'm saying? They was courageous. They was bold. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, and that process will teach you that. It will teach you how to be that. You know what I'm saying? Because bro, coming into his life, bro, we don't know about don't nobody know nothing. That's why the process is there. God got to put you in the process to build you. Just like how he say, it's, I forgot the verse, but how he say he mold you. The potters, what to say, the potters, uh, potters play something like that. But how he'll mold you into his perfect form for, for the will of, 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 for your life, you know what I'm saying? Like he will mold you, that's what the process is. He just molding you. You're like, okay, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send this little trial tribulation for you. I know it's gonna hurt, but you're gonna make it through, you know what I'm saying? Because you can do all things through Christ this winter. That's what he do to mold you. And in the midst of that process, in the midst of that storm, you was learning. You know what I'm saying? You gaining wisdom, insight. You know what I'm saying? To pass on to somebody else that might go through the same thing you're going later on down the line, a couple years down the line, or to just have it for another option that come up later on in the process. So you already know how to handle it, how to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say it's the process to the promised land. You know what I'm saying? Everything always work out for your good. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta be willing to go through the process. You know what I'm saying? Be willing to suffer for a little. You know what I'm saying? To be able to really enjoy the fruits of your labor in their latter days. You know what I'm saying? That's how you say it. 
Yo, latter days would be better than a former day. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get through. It's the process. You gotta get through. You gotta push through. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna hurt. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, and don't get me wrong, bro. In the midst, and you see it, I'm reading Abraham. In the midst of that process, he has some highs and he has some lows. You know what I'm saying? That's a life. Highs and lows. Highs and lows. Highs and lows till he gets to that stained wrist, the promised land. And he just smooth sailing. But it still wasn't smooth sailing, but it was, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was fading. That's it. That's it, man. That's all I got today. I hope y'all got a good message, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we out. I love y'all. Be blessed.